got Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection for the Switch. And uh, let's open this bad boy up and try it out. I don't know where my combat knife went, so I'm gonna have to use some old fashioned nurse scissors. <laughs> Pretty sure there's not going to be anything in here because uh, uh, Capcom and Nintendo they don't really put anything. Only those uh, indie devs are the ones that put anything nice. So yeah, it's just just the uh, cart. So we're going to power it on, uh, take a look at some of the games, and uh, go from there. All right. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter Yeah, I'm waiting for this. Well, I got yeah. you. Yeah, I'm waiting for this. Are you ready? Go! That's not simple, can you can you can you can Strike now.
I'm so excited. Let's get this bad boy started. So this one has Super Street Fighter. Um, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Super Street Fighter 2, New Challengers, uh, Hyper Fighting, which is Street Fighter 2, Hyper Fighting. I'm thinking this is Tournament Edition, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter or Fighting Street, if you're from America. Street Fighter Alpha, Alpha 2, Alpha 3. Uh, Street Fighter 3 New Generation, Second Impact, and Third Strike, which is my favorite. I can't wait to dig into this. Yeah! Let me get this lamp out of the way. It's getting hot already. Sweat. See it. Oh. I think we can do without it. Alright. I'm going to my favorite first. I want to play all of them, but all right, how do I change this border? I'm not liking this border. Wide. No filter. All right. Oh, I can't wait. Just to hear that. Get it on now. Select and make your first pick. Get it on now. Nope. All right. What start? Oh, the minus. You can see the smile on my face. Cause I haven't played this since I had a Dreamcast. It's since my first Dreamcast. No. 
No, I didn't want to use that now. All right, now I'm gonna have to get an arcade stick. I think you could parry in this. I don't know why he's not parrying. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you idiot. Um, Mark Smith from Retrocore did uh, Battle of the Ports, so it'd be kind of cool. I'm gonna, I want to go back to, uh, I want to watch those again, and see how, how they uh, stack up to the arcade, these arcade versions, because these aren't the console version; these are straight up from the arcade. This Street Fighter, by far, had the best music. Alpha is like right behind it. You can just see the excitement in my face. I, I'm going to put in so many hours on this game. And I remember all the nights uh, studying for college and then I'd go to this group at, at my local community college where all we did, instead of study, was bring our systems and play on those big CRTs. Gotcha. Oh, I'm st I'm gonna I'm gonna hit that all the time. I oddly remember the Dreamcast looking a hell of a lot smoother than this one though. And I know it's not because I have the screen size. I mean if I switch back to original, it's still Dreamcast still beats it by far. Zoo arcade? TV. No. I don't know who would pick scan lines. Stop. So this has save states too, huh? Oh, sweet. Save game. You got a little rotating Blanca. <laughs> See, I never played Street Fighter 3 New Generation, and Second Impact, I think I played it on arcade, but I didn't notice any considerable differences. So let's go from the best to probably the worst Street Fighter. I played this at the uh, local museum, and I did not like it. One bit. <laughs> yep, this is just like it looked. This looks horrible. Ryu was a ginger. What? <laughs> what the hell is this? It's just as bad as I remember. This is way too bad. <laughs> Let's go back to the stuff I know. Alright. Street Fighter Alpha 2 is really good. This will bring back some memories here. Street Fighter Alpha. So the first time I played Alpha was on the PlayStation. And then, if I remember correctly, I think I had the Sega Saturn version, which is far more, far superior. 
So having the arcade perfect version is getting me all giddy. I'm, I'm shaking. Okay, so he's a ginger here too. <laughs> Oh, she caught me. I got my ass handed to me. Come on. Well, this is just so much smoother than I remember on the PlayStation, so thumbs up. Fighting Street, thumbs down. Third strike, thumbs up. As you can see, I pretty much only play with Akuma, Ryu, and Ken. Everybody is, everybody else is poo poo. Oh, I forgot. This is the one with no supers. Hence why they probably called the old one Super Street Fighter. You son of a bio. It's super sharp. I remember the SNES version. You, you can never see Ken's face like that. Oh, come on, that didn't kill him? That battle detection <laughs> is down. Don't like it, don't like it. Okay, this one gets some middle thumbs. It gets middle thumb because of nostalgia. But once you get the good Street Fighters, these kind of, these, these don't hold up. No. Still fun to play. I need a joystick though. You stop, stop. enough of that one so far this is all worth it for a third strike for sure all right do turbo bing, bing, ding, ding, ding. yes yep mm -hmm. yeah
Yep. So this is the one that I traded in, the Ultra Street Fighter. Just this is the That remix music is horrible though. Just got beat by T Hawk. Yep, by T Hawk. Street Fighter 2. Which, I mean, there's not much difference. I think the little animations at the bottom, you start off with 8 characters instead of 12, I believe. They have the, the Japanese style where it centers on Asia and Still better than SNES. I don't have a problem with SNES. It's just the ports for it were always like it's so slow. I'm just happy to have Street Fighter on the go now. So that's it. Twelve games. Four of them were pretty much identical, minus a few tweaks. Three of them are variants of each other, these three are variants, and then you got the horrible one. That's it. Watching the video on Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Edition. Um, I, I am going to enjoy the hell out of this game just for Third Strike. The other ones are just icing on the cake. Um, so thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to like, support, and share. Uh, also, uh, right over here, <laughs> uh, you can become a Patreon. Um, through the comments or the description, there'll be a link. You can click that, um, and that's if totally up to you. Um, but by subscribing and liking and sharing the channel, uh, that's enough for you know for me as far as. Uh, as uh, you know support so if um, if you can't become a patron that's fine you can also uh, like support and share uh, thank you so much for watching and also don't forget to check out other channels your player too uh, who is a patron and uh, gamer thumb uh, TV and not another game collector uh, they've been huge supporters of the channel and I can't thank them enough uh, thank you and uh, wait for the next one CSA and Warriors.